Today we're looking at the XLOOKUP function formula in Microsoft Excel. So the XLOOKUP function is a way to take a piece of data and look that up in a column or a table and then return something else from that table. So XLOOKUP replaces functions like VLOOKUP, which can only look vertically in a column, or HLOOKUP, which can, which can only look horizontally in a row. And so XLOOKUP provides a lot more flexibility to use however you need. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in with the very basic. And so we're gonna return the category for a selected product type. So we're going to open our function, X lookup, and then you can kind of see we have different arguments here that we can use inside of this function. So the first is the lookup value. And so this is what we want to search for in our table. And so we're gonna click on our product A selection here. And then our lookup array, our next argument is going to be where we're going to search for this, which would be our column here. And then we separate by comma. And then our next is a return array or what we want to bring back. And so in this case, we want to bring back our category. And then we have some other options such as if not found in match mode and search mode, but we'll get to those in a moment and we'll just close this out. You do not need those. It'll default to exact match. And so here we have for product A is clothing. And so let's go ahead and check on product C. And that is furniture. So let's go ahead and jump back in to our next thing, which is if not found. And so let's go ahead and actually do that down here because I have a product here that is not in our table. And so let's search for product H in our lookup array. And let's just return unit price for that. And then if not found, we'll just put a string in, say not found. And close that up. And there we go. It says not found. So you can tell that this is working correctly. If we change this to product A, then it returns the 10. All right, so let's go ahead and continue back here. So one thing in this return array, so here we have category. We can actually use multiple columns. And so we can turn multiple columns like this and see furniture, unit price, and stock for product C. And so if we select a different product, then that will update all three fields. So to go to the next one, we'll do not found. And then next is match mode. So we can do match mode is exact, exact or next smaller, exact or next larger, or wildcard. And so exact match is what you want to do if you want to return the same thing the larger or smaller than have to do with numbers, which we'll get to in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and do exact match. And then we have search mode, which number one is search first to last, which is searching from top to bottom, or last to first, which would be bottom to top. And then we have binary search in ascending or descending order, which is not a option that's used a lot. So let's just look at first to last and last to first for the moment, and then we're going to go through some other cases. So what we're going to do is one, and so this is searching from first to last. And so we're going to show you this in a second because we have two product B types, and they're both electronics with a different price in stock. So let's go ahead and select product B. And so what you see right now is it's returning the first one here and it's not displaying the second one. So it's only returning one row from this table. So let's go ahead and see what happens now if we change this search mode from one, which was top to bottom, to minus one, which is last to first. And so if we do this, now we can see that it's returning the bottom one here. So this is a handy thing to do, perhaps if you have running dates or something like that, and you want to get the last value, or the last time that something shows up in a table. All right, so let me show you real quick now what it looks like to use this instead of HLOOKUP. What we've done so far is basically replacing VLOOKUP. And so let's see what this looks like to search horizontally. So again, we're gonna take our same lookup value. And then this time for our lookup array, instead of selecting a column, we're gonna select this data here horizontally. 
And then for our return array, we're going to select the row below. And then we can go ahead and close that out. And see there is returning 600 for week two. And so if we change this to week six, for example, we can see it updates to 700. All right, and next, let's go ahead and look at the sorted one that we were just looking at a moment ago. So here we have sales levels based on the amount of sales. And so we can see from zero to 499 would be bronze level, 500 to 999 is silver and so forth. And so what we want to do is enter an input here and search for in these and return the proper level. So let's go ahead and open up our functioning here. And our lookup value is going to be, to be our sales amount here. And then our lookup array is going to be this one. And our return array is going to be bronze. And then we can put in a and a value here. Or you can skip the if not found part. You can just do another comma. And then the match mode is going to be the important one here. So we have exact match, which we've been using on these text values to get the exact match. But here with numbers, we can do an exact match, but in this case, we're not going to find one. So we need to determine if we want the exact or next smaller or exact or next larger. And so in this case, if we have 600, we're not going to find it here or here. So do we want to return the next smaller or next larger. So if we pick one, is the next larger. And so let's go ahead and see what this does. And this returns gold. And so this is rounding up 600 into this category. And so let's go ahead and change this to negative one, which is exact match or next smaller item. And now you can see that it is returning silver. And so there may be some cases where you want to go to that next level. And that can be a common one as well. But in this case, our 600 belongs in this category. And so it returns silver. All right. So finally, I just want to remind you that this video was brought to you by Coefficient. Coefficient is revolutionizing Excel by streamlining live data imports and enhancing automation. This allows you to use these functions like XLOOKUP on a live table from your data source, something like Salesforce or SQL Server and many other sources that we support. Make sure to check out Coefficient and download it for Excel and begin to see how you can use it for all of your projects. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.